How's it going guys? In today's lesson we're going to be discussing how we can display multiple sheets in SwiftUI on any iPhone device and it's going to look like this. So we're going to have a button which is going to open up a regular sheet as always but let's pretend we also want to go a level deeper. We can go ahead and tap on another button such as change the text and it's going to open up another sheet on top of the other sheet and here we can go ahead and change this to whatever we want. We can say hello world and we can submit it and it's going to update it in the current sheet and we can capitalize it it's going to show the preview and when we click on done it's going to display the text on the original sheet so i'm going to be discussing how we can achieve all of this in swift ui but of course the first thing you want to do as always is create a new empty project and we're going to create a few at state variables such as show settings sheet and you want to create one of these for each one of the sheets you want to keep track of and we're going to set that to false and then we need to create add state private var show edit text sheet which will be set to false and we want to keep track of the text state so private var text which will be equal to edit this text and add state private var is caps which will be set to false initially. Now we're also going to create one computed property and here we're going to type in private var displayed text is going to be of type string and it's going to be some very simple logic which is going to say return if is caps is true we want it to return text dot uppercase else we're just going to return the text as it is. So all this does is update this text down here to be capitalized if it is activated. Now the next thing we have to do is go into the body and inside here we will create a V stack and I'm going to add some spacing of 10. And the first thing inside here we're going to add is a text view of the display text and it's going to be bold. Then we're going to add a button that says edit and inside here all we're going to do is toggle the show setting sheet and as you might have guessed it to this we can go ahead and attach a sheet and to this button we're going to go ahead and call the sheet modifier and we need the is presented and the content so here is presented is going to be connected to show setting sheet and the content is going to be inside this closure so i want to create a form so we can tidy things up very nicely and it's going to have a section called settings and inside the settings, we're going to have a few buttons such as a toggle button, which says capitalized, question mark, and is on is going to be connected to is caps. Next, we want to create a button that says change text in case we want to change it. And this is going to open up a new sheet. And it's actually really simple to create a new sheet. All you have to do is say show edit text sheet. And we're going to then cover how to open that sheet. But right before we're done with this section, we need to also add a button that says done so they can close the current sheet. So inside here, we'll type in show setting sheet dot toggle. And I also want to go below this and create another section that says preview. And inside here, we'll add a text view with the current text equal to backslash text holding the display text dot bold. Now we can actually test this out in the live preview, tap on edit text, and you should get something similar to this layout. As you can see, we have something that can capitalize the text. We can click on done to close it, and we can open it again, and we can also click on change text, although it does nothing at this point in the tutorial. So how do we add another sheet? And the answer is incredibly simple. Inside the sheet that you want to add the sheet to, just connect another sheet, just like this, and is presented is going to be bound to show edit text sheet and the content is going to be inside the closure again. Now to keep things consistent, we're going to create another form and it's going to have a section that says change the text. And we're going to have a text field that says edit the current text and the text is going to be bound to our local text. Then we need to go ahead and create a button with a submit value 
And as soon as they press that, we're just going to toggle show edit text sheet so we can dismiss it. And one thing to note is that you can use this toggle from any point of the program. So if you decide to also say show settings sheet dot toggle, this will close both of the sheets if they are both open. For example, if we go ahead and run this and click on edit text and click on change text, as you can see, we have two sheets open, but if we click on submit, it's going to close both of them one at a time. So just keep in mind, you can edit them from any point of the program. And that this is also good to keep in mind in case you get some unexpected behavior, such as opening a sheet when you close another one. Just make sure you understand how the state of your sheets are being handled. But for this, we don't really want to close both of them. So we're just going to remove that line over there. And with that being done, we can actually go ahead and run the program. And as soon as the emulator loads, you'll see that it works exactly the same as earlier. You can go ahead and change the text. You can type something in here, submit it. It's going to update down here. You can capitalize it and you can click on done and it's going to close both of the sheets. And it was a very smooth experience that you just open sheets and don't clutter a single view. Because if you put everything inside here, the user might have to try a bit harder to look for what they need. While if you have multiple sheets, you can definitely split the functionality in a much cleaner way. So yeah, that's actually all I wanted to cover in today's lesson. It's just a simple trick in Swift UI that can make your apps look a bit nicer. But as always, guys, with that being said, I'll see you in the next lesson.